What is up everyone, it's me Comfus, and this will be the new updated power leveling guide to the max level you can go to, and that will be level 100. You can get to level 1 to level 100 in one day. Um, I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. Uh, I did say I was going to do an update. Uh, I was trying to do 140. Uh, sadly, there's no way you can even do a level 140, or you can get to 140. Even with the 50 elixir, you still can't get to 140. Uh, but basically this will be the guide on how to get to uh, level 100 from one in one day and also you're gonna be doing every single one of these dungeons twice so remember that you're gonna be doing every single dungeon twice in the comments I'm going to have a uh, list of all the dungeons you're going to do uh, of course you're gonna, you're gonna do them all twice um, but in this video I'm gonna just say if you know if you want audio better I'm just gonna explain where you gotta go, all those places. Uh, but in the description, or sorry, not in the description, in the comments, I'm gonna have them all, uh, and it's gonna be pinned. The first dungeon is Frostholm in Grizzleheim, Ver, uh, sorry, Vigrid Roughland. Uh, it's right up here in the corner. And the second dungeon will be Sunken City in Nightside and Wizard City. The third dungeon is the Throne Room of Fire in the Palace of Fire in Crocotopia. Next will be the Vault of Ice in Entrance Hall in Crocotopia. Then you will do the Emperor Retreat in Entrance Hall in Crocotopia. And then the Karahan Palace in the Karahan Barracks in Crocotopia. Then in Marleybone you do Counterweight East. Then the Counterweight West. Then do the Ironworks which is in Digmore Station in Marleybone. Then the Katzenstein's Lab. Then in Mushu, you're going to first do the Crimson Fields in Hamestu Village, then the Shirataki Temple in the Soshan Village, then the Tree of Life in the Yoshihito Temple, and that's just it for Mushu. Then you do all the Housing Gauntlets, the Grand Tourney Arena, then the Midnight Sun Pagoda, then the Fantastic Voyage Expedition, then the Spiral Cup, and then the Winter Bane Hall. Then in Dragonspire, you're going to be doing the Grand Chasm Past, uh, which is in the Grand Chasm. Uh, then you're going to be doing the Labyrinth, which is in the Necropolis. And then you're going to be doing Loremaster, which is in the Athenium. And that's just it for Dragonspire. Then you will be doing the, uh, Mount Olympus. And you're going to be saying, wait, you cannot teleport into that inside Mount Olympus. And you are right, but there's a secret area. If you go to the secret boss in uh, Mount Olympus, you know, Gladiator, uh, I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. You can actually teleport over there. As you can see, I am teleporting to my fire, and then onto your, uh, you know, your this character. You're gonna be having the quest, the instant quest. You can go back out and look at that. You are in the dungeon. Look, I'm a level 21. I'm in the Mount Olympus dungeon. Then you're gonna go to Winter Tusk and do Nastrond. Then in Celestia, you'll be doing the Stellarium in the District of the Stars. Then the portico in the Celestia base camp, then the chancel in the Celestia base camp, and then the trial of spears in the Celestia base camp. Then you go to Imperia and do the control room in the Nimbus Cit uh, Citadel. Then in Mirage in the Achilles Barrows, you're going to do the Overlord's Ossuary. Then in Imperia, you're going to be doing the Nimbus Hangar. And then you're going to be doing the Storm Titan's Wait. Now you're probably going to be asking me, oh, come on, that is such a difficult uh, thing. And of course, you're going to need three maxes for it. And you are right. You can skip this if you want. Uh, it will limit your level, but you can still get to Exalted without it. Um, it's just really, really good if you actually do it. It will level you up. Uh, I recommend you do it. You can get three maxes. It's kind of easy. I'm going to be honest. The Storm Titan is really, really easy. Uh, they nerfed it. Uh, and you know you can just hang around. You don't, even, you don't even have to be in the battle. You can hang around. It's an instant dungeon. Once he's defeated, he's defeated. You get the XP, whatever, all that stuff. Uh, and then after that, you're going to be doing the spiritual grove in the husk, and then the dream shrine in the nexus. Then in Azteca, you do the deepest mine in the cenote. Then you go over to Imperia, do the cistern in the inner anther. Then you go back to Azteca and do the pitch black lake and the pitch black lake and then you go back to Imperia and you do these. Then in Caramel you do the logging warehouse and the black licorice forest and then the pipeline cave and the gumdrop forest. House Oddity charge which is in Xanadu, the charging station which is in Xanadu, the ink spillway which is in the Sepidus and the Huangus frog battle plain in the northeast arrow plains. 
head over to Avalon. You're going to do the Keep of Gadolina in the outer yard, then the Temple of Light in the inner anther in Imperia. Then in Polaris, you go to the Bastille and talk to someone named Redden. He gives a quest which leads you to cell block B. And then in the Forlorn tag, there's the Get Busy Living quest also given by Redden. And uh, it basically just makes you go look for something and then you can just get the XP right away. Then you do the Rosiana's House in the Black Licorice Forest. Then back to Imperia, you're going to be doing the Beacon Hope in the Xanadu the Ethereum in the Xanadu, and the Palace in the Xanadu, then the Runoff Drain in Xanadu, and then the Right Ocular Vein in the Sepidus, the Left Ocular Vein in the Sepidus, and then the Heart Sector in the Sepidus. Then in Mirage, you're going to be doing the Four Points in the Agrabah. Then in Imperia, you're going to be doing the Military Training down, uh, Grounds in the Nim Nimbus uh, Citadel, uh, then the rear courtyard in the Nimbus of Tidal, and then the audience chamber in the Nimbus of Tidal, then you're going to go to the astral grove in the husk, and then the elemental grove in the husk. Then in Mirage, you're going to do the north times of doom in the Chrono Verge. Then you do the gingerbread room academy in Caramel City, barn division in the candy corn farm, glockenspiel in the Caramel City, gobbler cave in the gumdrop forest, Mining Tunnel B in the Nibblehell Mines, and then the Silo in the Candy Corn Farm. Now back to Imperia, you're going to be doing the Secret Tunnel in the Aerial Jungle, then the Dark Cloud Base in the Southwest Aerial Plains, and the Beast Man Tunnels in the Aerial Jungle, then the Steam Plant in the Inner Anther, and then, then you do the uh, Financial Department in Caramel City, and then the Hot House Silo in the Candy Corn Farm. The final area where you're just gonna be doing the breathing cave in the Borealis Peaks, then you're gonna go on to Imperia, and then uh, Kelamara Clearing in the Chaos Jungle, the Dream Hive in the Nexus, and then you go back to Polaris and you do the Kataba Ice Block in Kataba Ice Block. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Uh, please leave a like and please subscribe. You know, this has been a really uh, interesting sort of uh, guide to make. I really like making these guides. I really like power leveling. I think it's really, really fun. It's a fun thing to do. Uh, you know, just making a bunch of uh, gag characters at level 100. I just think that's really, really funny. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video.